the show. Well, as five poets once said, people of the world, spice up your life. Yeah. So today, we're gonna do just that and add some spice to your wardrobe, your beauty routine, and of course, your kitchen, which is obviously where we're gonna start. Spices can really totally transform your meals. So I'm gonna show you how to make four of my favorite homemade spice blends. You always see, see me reaching for jars. So I wanted to show you a couple of my fave combos that'll get fast flavor into whatever you're making. So we're gonna start off, obviously, with my spicy Italian seasoning, because I use Italian seasoning a lot. So, I know, it's a good one. It's just like a catch-all. So I've got a little jar here that I'm gonna use to actually make those spices in, or those spice blends in. So just grab whatever you want, whether it's a mason jar or a little snap top jar, and then we're just gonna build in here. So the first thing I need is two tablespoons of some dry oregano. Oregano is really nice and lemony. It brings a ton of flavor. And I'm not gonna lie, up until like, I'm gonna say three years ago, I didn't like oregano. So this is a new spice for me. And I know that sounds wild because there's nothing wrong with oregano, but for some reason it just like wasn't doing it. And now, I love oregano. So two tablespoons go on into there as well as two tablespoons of some uh, basil, actually. Basil is really nice and bright. It's a classic Italian flavor, and it tastes totally different dried than it does fresh. It's a little bit smokier, really nice flavor into there. This is also a great way to use up all of those spices you have hanging out in your spice pantry to like get them together into something that you're gonna use a lot more frequently than you just reach for like dried basil. Now I'm also gonna add in a tablespoon of some dried thyme. And thyme is nice and lemony again. It's got like kind of a woody flavor. I, would, I, I love thyme too. Both the uh, concept of it and the herb, absolutely delish. Now I'm also adding in a tablespoon of some rosemary. Now dried rosemary can tend to be a little woody, so if you wanted to, you could bust this up. But I actually like throwing it in whole because it's really nice, it perfumes things, and it does soften as you cook it. Now for a little bit of heat, I'm adding in two teaspoons of some chili flakes, and this is what makes it into a spicy Italian seasoning. This is something that I pretty much always have on hand. Anytime I'm having pizza, chili flakes are going on it. Heck, I would put this spicy Italian seasoning on it too, and that would be great. Now, for a little bit of additional flavor, as opposed to just having those herbs, I'm gonna add in a teaspoon and a half of garlic powder. Garlic powder gives you like roasted garlic flavor without having to do anything except for open a jar. It's gonna coat all of those herbs and that little bit of chili and give you a really nice flavor. And then I'm also adding in about three quarters of a teaspoon of onion powder. Again, this gives you like roasted onion flavor, but without having to do anything. And I like to hold back a little and just do that three quarters of a teaspoon, because that just, Gives you a hint of onion without being like, calm down, Mary. Real in the onion. Now you can also season that up with a bit of salt if you wanted to, but just pop that lid on, give it a shake up, because we're not dirty in anything else in this pantry. And then you have Mary's spicy Italian seasoning. <laughs> Perfect. Now moving on, because we are getting into turkey season. We are into like the holidays. So lots of people are making turkey, people are making stuffing. So I wanted to show you how to make my poultry seasoning. So the first thing I need here is a tablespoon of sage. So I've got ground sage here. It's really nice and tasty. Sometimes you can only find like a rubbed sage, which kind of looks like a leaf. That works too really nicely. So add that on in. As well as two teaspoons of, again, we got some of that, oh wait, no, we're using savory first. We are gonna add thyme in, but savory, if you haven't had savory, what an absolute treat it is. It is bright and lemony and delicious, but it also gives you like a little bit of earthiness. Now, for all my East Coasters out there, you could use summer savory. And if you know a summer savory, oh baby, that is delish. So you can get your hands on that. Again, especially on Canada's East Coast, feel free to use that in here. Now, two teaspoons of some thyme, because thyme and poultry go together beautifully. Really nice and tasty. And then a teaspoon of that rosemary. Again, if you wanted to, you could bust this up. I'm going in whole. Now, this is a lot, but I'm gonna add in a whole teaspoon of pepper. Black pepper is really nice, but it goes well with poultry. So add that on in. And then this sounds wild. Get ready, everybody. I'm throwing some nutmeg into this baby. <laughs> Cause that's what I do. But the nutmeg brings so much flavor into here. Just a little pinch. It's not gonna make it taste like a sweet or like a donut. It's just gonna give you this warm spice right on in. Now pop that lid on. Whoops, give it a shake. And this added to a bit of butter spread onto your turkey. Pop that in your stuffing. That 
poultry seasoning is a total dream. Really good. All right, moving on to chili seasoning. This is super simple as well. We gotta start with some chili powder. And chili seasoning's great. If you've got ground beef, can of beans, little bit of tomato, pop this in it. You got like the quickest, easiest chili you've ever made. So the first thing I need is three whole tablespoons of chili powder. So this is nice and smoky and delicious. So pop those babies again right on into your jar. And if you wanted, you could use mason jars for this any sort of container that's sealable and has a good seal on there. Now this is an annoying measurement, but I'm gonna ask for five teaspoons of cumin. I don't know why that's annoying. It's annoying to me because uh, three teaspoons is a tablespoon. So I could have said just two tablespoons and called it six, but I didn't. So here we all are <laughs> watching me scoop five into here. All right, cumin is really great. It's super lemony as well, really delicious. And then I'm also adding in about four teaspoons, four or five teaspoons of smoked paprika for a little bit of smokiness. And as we know, three teaspoons is in a tablespoon, so that's a tablespoon and a teaspoon. <laughs> this is like my math, is, is measurement, teaspoon, cup-based measurements. All right, now a little bit of cayenne pepper, just about a teaspoon and a half for a little bit of heat and a little bit of smokiness. Some mustard powder brings a roundness into here that is totally delish, so adding that on in too. And then this is where I'm gonna lose some people, but get ready, everybody. Just like with that nutmeg, I'm adding cinnamon into here. <laughs> it sounds strange, but it brings this like warmth, and you're just adding about half a teaspoon. It gives this beautiful warmth into this mixture. You're not gonna taste cinnamon, it's not gonna taste like cinnamon bun chili, because that sounds gross. It's gonna be really nice and tasty. A Little bit of pepper in there too. Again, give that a shake, and you've got the best thing. Hey, Mary here. What did you think? Drop your comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.